Well, ladies and gentlemen, back and again and again and again in the same shirt. Yes, I have not taken a shower since yesterday. I have two kids. Okay, so uh, leave me alone on this. Yes, I know my hair, like they need a shampoo and a comb and all that. I'll do it. Okay, it's Saturday. Give me a break. So, today we're going to be doing our Planets Through Ascendant series. And you're gonna be, we're going to be doing uh, Sun in the seventh house for Taurus Ascendant. And what happens when Sun is in the seventh house for Taurus Ascendant people? And this is quite different from my other series of Planets Through Signs and Houses. Because when I did like Sun in the seventh house and Sun in the sign of Scorpio separately, it, it didn't really have that much of a meat into it it was like a basic information now this is a bit of a level up now we know what house sun is ruling and where the sign is placed and where sun is in the uh for a particular ascendant and if you do not know where your sun is placed you know in your particular horoscope all the other details planet replacements conjunction aspects for that check out the links here and check out my full astrological report including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects of the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link here. So, for Taurus Ascendant people, Sun rules the fourth house of home, dwelling, mother, childhood friends, emotions, happiness. So now, the fourth Lord is in the seventh house. Seventh house is the house of spouse, partnerships, relationships, enemies, other people, um, four and distance places because it's fourth from the fourth. It represents your grandmother as well. Mother of the mother. And the sign of Scorpio resides in the seventh house. So sun comes into the seventh house. This tells me clearly that you had a, quite a karmic relationship with the mother. Very intense relationship with the mother. Shows that most of the time, you, if sun was in the first 10 degrees of this uh, sign, or the last 10 degrees of this sign shows there's a great chance you must have been raised mostly by your grandmother. There were quite a bit of power struggles with the mother. Shows mother, or through the mother you travel to foreign places and foreign lands and especially because of your mother and grandmother. Like the simple situation is, is your grandmother must have been foreign lands. Then she applied for visa for your mother and her family to come. So through that you went to foreign lands. Because seventh house is the farthest away place from uh, the ascendant and so shows that the mother either took you to foreign lands or she went to foreign lands shows that mother is this military like personality she expects certain things to happen at a certain time very intense personality mother kind of takes a leadership role in everything that you do even your marriage must have had some sort of a power struggles because of your mother But, this also shows that your personality was shaped by your mother. The intensity that you have, the ability to fight, the ability to go out and face challenges was because of the fact your mother made you tough. So early on in your life, you may not have liked how your mother raised you. But after a while, you realize that, oh my goodness, I am so tough, I'm so good, I'm not afraid of anything going out in the professional life. It's because of the fact my mother actually did this. People realize it in their 30s, 40s. Now, of course, you can have an absolutely an abusive mother here. This is a karmic sign. Remember, Scorpio and Aquarius is a very karmic sign. Because Scorpio and Aquarius are also co-ruled by the karmic planets Rahu and Ketu. Ketu co-rules the sign of Scorpio. So you have to look at the position of Ketu and Mars. To really determine how well this uh, position of sun is going to be. But it's going to be intense. I don't care if it's for good or bad. It's going to be extremely intense. It's going to be extremely deep relationship. Perhaps you have a very deep relationship with your mother and grandmother. You will die for them. You will kill for them. Or they will kill you. <laughs> but especially... Um, if your sun is around the 10th degree, let's say between 8 to 12 degrees, that's where you will really feel this um, heavy dose of this uh, uh, sun's karmic, uh, karmic energy. And sun from the 7th house aspects your ascendant. 
So this is what shows you come across very masculine. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you come very masculine, very intense uh, personality in terms of relationships. And you somehow always look for a partner uh, because the way they, your mother behaved with you. You always somehow end up or you look for a partner as intense as your mother because fourth Lord is in the seventh house. And show somehow even after marriage, you're, if, you, uh, if you sustain your relationship with the mother, she will somehow be involved after marriage as well with your spouse, you making uh, your decision making and whatever you do will be influenced by the mother as well. It also shows, and this is one of those little weird things I've learned from Sunil of Saptarishis, just by all the things that material that I, he has sent me, is that you always seem to kind of either lose or destroy your umbrella with this position of sun. In seventh house, Sun and Rahu, especially when they're in this karmic sign of Scorpio, somehow your umbrella either keeps getting lost or it gets ripped out. I don't know, it's just one of those weird things I've learned. But ma mainly because seventh house represents our enemies, people who we come across in the open world, also represents our spouse, very intense, very sexual people we come across. And yet very masculine personality. Even if you are a male, your wife will be this intense masculine personality, this A personality, military mode like personality. All about business. Marriage may in a way be a little bit of a business. You give to her, she gives to you. If you don't give to her, she won't give it to you. Or he gives to you, or he gives to her, she gives to you. You know, it's like this exchange of energy and business. But mainly what shows that um, karmic relationship with the mother and the mother's mother, grandmother. You'll find um, people either not liking their grandmother or actually being raised by grandmother. Deep, intense love with the grandmother. But obviously, again, this is probably 75% of the information. The other 25 you will see with aspects, conjunctions. Position of sun in the Namancha chart. Position of sun in the Natsasti Amsha chart. And this is where you can determine how, what side of intensity is the sun falling in? Is it falling in the intense side of the, the positive side, negative side, or is it staying neutral? This also shows you will have properties in foreign lands. And you'll be an extremely intense business person. Especially if you deal with the fourth house matters like land, real estate, um, hotels, motels, food related business, any home based business. You're a very intense person when it comes to these things because of the fact you experience so many intense things with the fourth house connection. Is that you take those things very personally in your life. Okay. So guys, uh, this was my analysis of uh, Sun in the 7th house for Taurus Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below again if you want to know where your Sun is placed. All the planetary placements in your horoscope. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, my books, including all my consultations. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with Jupiter through Ascendant transit for this and next year. Bye-bye.